Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on a new Yara candy. I got this in the mail yesterday and I've already worn it twice. And this scent is so good, y'all. But let me go ahead and read the notes out to y'all. It has top notes of black currant and green tangerine. It has middle notes of strawberry fizz candy and gardenia. Then base notes of vanilla, amber, musk, and sandalwood. It just sounds like perfection, even from reading those notes. I got this on a TikTok shop and it was $50 for a 3.4 fluid ounce size, which honestly is kind of expensive for the yard since because I believe I got the other yard, the light pink one, for like $30, I think. But I'm, a, I'm assuming this price probably gonna go down at some point. So yeah, just keep that in mind if you're in a rush to try it. But I have it linked in my Amazon storefront, which is in my description box, by the way, just to make it easy for y'all to access it. But anywho, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and spray it on my hand again, just to remind myself of that initial spray. But I already have a good idea what it smells like, cause like I said, I've worn it twice already since I had it yesterday. And like I said, this smells so good, y'all. So when you first smell it, it really does, like you really do get like a very, like candy like smell but not like in a super childish way it just it just smells like candy this is a good spring summer scent like that strawberry fizz candy no i was like okay what's that actually gonna smell like is it really gonna smell like candy and it really does it honestly puts me in the mind of like kind of puts me in the mind of what ocha was doing when they released their candy collection but that strawberry fizz candy no smells really good you also get a little bit of black currant and a tangerine so it's like very fruity very candy like Hey, Key. I'm recording a video. Okay. And then when it dries down, you get, you still get those candy-like notes, but you also get a little bit of the vanilla, the musk. On my skin, it really didn't smell that floral, which I'm not mad about. You really just get a whole lot of, it just smells like candy. Like, I think this is a very youthful smelling scent. It's very vibrant. But I feel like some people might say it's kind of juvenile because it literally smells like candy, but I really like it. I think it's very fun and I'm excited to layer with it. And I did try one layer in combination because I saw Fumi Monet recommend one on TikTok or it might be Instagram or it might be both. I don't know. But anyway, we're not going to go into that right now. Wow, I got stains on this ball. Did I do this? I probably did. But y'all, this smells good. And as far as longevity goes, it has pretty good longevity. On my skin, I know it lasted at least six plus hours and it didn't become a skin scent at all. Like I can still really smell it, which is really good. But the thing that was interesting about this scent is like, I sprayed it on my clothes as well and like on my, on my skin. You know how you wear a scent and you kind of get like, you kind of get little whiffs of it as you go on about your day. It's like when I got the whiffs of it throughout my day, it smelled a little bit less like candy. It just smelled more fruity like. But when I smelled it, like when I put when I put my shirt up to my nose, put my arm to my nose, I would get that candy like vibe again. I don't know if that really matters to y'all, but it just really stood out to me. And when I sprayed this initially, I was trying to see how much it compared to the other yard, the light pink one, because that's the only one I've tried. I haven't tried the orange bottle one. I think they have another one too. But I can see the similarities, but this one smells way more fruity and it isn't as powdery as a light pink one, which I'm not mad about. And if I had to pick one over the other end, it would definitely be Yara Candy. I like this one a lot more, even though I do love the other one as well. I don't really grab for it a whole lot, but I can see myself grabbing for this one a lot. It's a very easy to like scent, very safe blind buy. I would definitely recommend checking it out. And it's just a beautiful bottle. Like I really love this color. And this is the packaging that came in as well, if y'all are interested in that. Really thought this was cute too. And if you made it to this point in the video, go ahead and drop a green heart in the comments. And let me know what your scent of the day is. Cause I love to know what y'all are wearing. I do feel like this is a scent that's gonna project very well. It's not a beast mode scent that everybody's gonna be smelling when you walk into the room. But when you walk by people, they definitely gonna notice that you smelling good. And let me tell y'all about the layering combination that I tried out. I saw Fumi Monet on Instagram recommend layering it with K. Ollie's Eden Sparkling lychee and y'all i wore this combo last night to bed and it smelled really good this combination is just really nice so you get like all those citrusy fruity candy notes from yard candy in combination with a little bit more fruitiness and just i don't know like this combination was just very vibrant it was fun perfect for a day out on the town like in the summertime it's just it's nice i really do like this combination i see my sparkling lychee is getting a little low so we might have to fix that because I really do love this combination. I'll probably give this combination a good, I'll give it a 10 out of 10. Like I really think this is a good, fun, daytime scent combo. But I'm going to try something else. Let's see what else I will layer with. I honestly think, 
let's see. For some reason, I really, I really want to layer it with vanilla candy, rock sugar, just because I think there's been a lot of scents lately that have candy in the name. And I just want to see what this combo is like. And I really haven't picked up vanilla candy, rock sugar in a minute, so I'm going to just see what this scent adds to it. I think they might smell good together. But vanilla candy, rock sugar definitely smells more like a, um, it smells like a more mature candy-like scent than guard candy. Huh. This is a good sim combo. Like I'm getting a lot of the like the strawberry fizz candy note, and then that green tangerine note is also jumping out to me. But I'm also getting that pear and that like bubble gum smell from vanilla candy rock sugar. I really like this combo. Yeah. If you have these two, definitely combine them and let me know what you think. Cause I like this. It does smell really good. But have y'all tried out your candy? If so, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. And let me know how you think it compares to any of the other yards. If you like this video, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my fragrance reviews. And I do have, I have a few more in store for y'all, as always, because I love trying out new scents. But anywho, thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.